Long years ago, we made a tryst with destiny. 75 years ago, India gained independence from British rule and went on to become one of the largest democracies in the world. The India that Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru inherited was that of an economy battered by colonial exploitation and the horrors of partition. The only way for the country was up. Well, literally. For a country that started its space program with rocket parts being transported to the launch site on a bicycle and ox carts, it now plans to send humans to space. And it's not just space. In all fields, the sky was the limit. The 1950s was hard. India was a struggling agrarian economy and poverty was widespread. Something had to give. It came in the form of the Green Revolution in the 1960s. Thanks to the use of technology, production soared. Today, India is the largest producer of pulses and the second largest producer of rice and wheat. The 1970s brought with it a new revolution with a new colour. The White Revolution, known as Operation Flood, transformed India from a milk-deficient country to the milk capital of the world, producing 22% of the world's milk. Chinese troops started intruding. Defeat in the Indochina War in 1962 punched the whole nation at the gut. After a stalemate in the 1965 Indo-Pakistan War, India's defence forces showed their true worth in the 1971 war, defeating the same enemy, leading to the creation of Bangladesh. The commander of Pakistani's Eastern Army, Lieutenant General Niazi, had to surrender to India's Lieutenant General Jagjit Singh Arora. At the turn of the century, when Pakistani troops infiltrated past the line of control, India hit back in the icy cold conditions in Kargil in what is known as Operation Vijay. Did you know that India was a nuclear power back in 1974? At Pokhran in Rajasthan, India conducted its first nuclear test, codenamed Smiling Buddha. 24 years later, it was back to Pokhran where India launched five nuclear bomb tests under the codename Operation Shakti. India became a full-fledged nuclear state. India conducted three underground nuclear tests in the Pokhran Range. We spoke about India's humble beginnings in space. In 1984, an Indian saw what it was like to actually be there. Rakesh Sharma, an Indian Air Force pilot, bagged that ticket when he joined the Soviet Union's Soyuz T-11 expedition. Upar se Bharat kaisa dikhta hai aapko? <laughs> 25 years since it became a republic, India shot its first satellite, Aryabhatta, into space. How about sending 10 of them in one mission? In 2008, India did just that, setting a world record through its PSLV C9. Five years later, India launched the Mars Orbiter mission to explore the planet and became the first nation to achieve that in its first attempt. Expect the country to swell with pride again with the upcoming launch of Gaganyaan, India's first human space mission. Look around you and it's hard to find people from all walks of life without a mobile phone. 
almost 93% of households own a mobile phone, according to the National Family Health Survey. India has come a long way since the 1970s, when the waiting period for a landline connection at home could take months. If you wanted to call someone in another city, you had to book a trunk call. On Independence Day 1995, internet services were launched in India by Videsh Sanchar Nigam Limited. In 27 years, the internet penetration in the country stands at 47%. India also has some of the cheapest mobile data in the world, and the country is achieving a new milestone by rolling out 5G services. Close to 45 years after independence in 1991, the then Finance Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh announced the liberalization of the Indian economy. Now, you don't necessarily have to go abroad to buy your favorite shoes or the latest PlayStation. Before the economy opened up, it was a different story. The waiting period to buy a locally made car could take years. The Maruti 800 small car became a symbol of the aspiring middle class. In 1983, its first owner was handed the keys by the Prime Minister herself, Indira Gandhi. Rajiv Gandhi helped bring computers to India in the 1980s and the digital revolution began. Now, India is one of the world's biggest IT hubs for innovation and outsourcing. India is expected to become the world's fifth largest economy, while a decade ago the country was not even in the top 10. For decades, India was a hockey nation. Little wonder the men's team were the favourites each time they set off for the Olympics, bagging eight field hockey gold medals till 1980. Three years later, the sporting landscape in India changed when Kapil Dev's team lifted the 1983 Cricket World Cup. It still remains a cricket-crazy nation and a world cricket powerhouse. It took a long time coming, but in 2008, shooter Abhinav Bindra became the first Indian to win an individual gold medal in the Olympics. In 2020, Neeraj Chopra won India's first gold in athletics. Indian badminton has made huge strides, with the men's team clinching the Thomas Cup for the first time in 2022 and PV Sindhu becoming the first Indian to clinch gold at the World Championships. Did you know that in 1947, the average Indian was expected to live only till around 32 years? By 2022, it has increased to nearly 71 years. Since independence, India launched several programs to curb diseases like malaria, TB, AIDS and polio. In 2014, India was declared polio-free by the World Health Organization. Now, India has administered more than 2 billion COVID vaccination doses, becoming the second country to hit the milestone after China. In the last 75 years, India has had several curveballs thrown its way. The 1984 Bhopal gas tragedy at the Union Carbide plant remains one of the world's worst industrial disasters and the effects still haven't worn off. The devastating earthquakes at Latur in 1993 and Gujarat in 2001 shook the whole country. The 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami claimed over 12,400 Indian lives and destroyed several livelihoods. Cyclones and floods continue to batter India from all corners. But the resilience India has shown over 75 years has helped her bounce back from all setbacks. Sargi Sri Bilal Ahmad Magri ki mata, Sri Mati Sara Begum.